One question I often get asked a lot as a technical writer is, Dillion, how do you get your article topics? And as technical writers, sometimes we're in the whole vibe and energy to write. We want to put some information out. We want to share some knowledge, but we don't know what to write on. And that is the purpose of this video. In this video, I'll be sharing my tips or my procedure or my approaches to generating ideas or topics that I write on my blog or on other platforms. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dillion. And on my space, I share, my, I share tips and lessons around my experiences in career as a software engineer, a developer, advocate, or a content creator. And I also share my experiences in life. So if these are things you're interested in seeing more of, please subscribe. I would appreciate that. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I would be sharing my process to generating article ideas and things that I write on. And before I go further to do this, I want to also say that I feel like the misconception or I feel like what holds many of us down, many writers down from writing is because we believe we or because we want to write on the big articles, the comprehensive, the very detailed articles, the project tutorials, those very big 2,500 words articles. And sometimes we feel like 500 articles are probably too short and shouldn't exist. Maybe, I may be totally wrong, but if this is something that is holding you back from writing, then I want to say that you shouldn't really be concerned about this. The end goal is to share information. The end goal is to teach people. I have written articles of 300, 400 words, even less, and people found it very helpful. People just discovered something or they learned something from that article. So if this is what is holding you down, then please, you shouldn't be concerned. Also, if another thing holding you down is the fact that some articles have been written on already, that shouldn't hold you down. And the reason I say this is because as technical writers, we all have our different ways of explaining things. For some people, they explain things well with, you know, real life use cases. For some people, they explain things well with images and illustrations. For some people, it's GIFs, GIFs or GIFs. For some people, it's sense of humor. They have their articles filled with so much humor. For some people, it's fantasies. There are different ways we all write that makes our articles unique and, you know, People can learn in different ways. There are people who like learning from something that has like poetry in it. So this shouldn't hold you down. We all have our unique ways of writing. If something has been written on, the only time I feel you should be concerned if something has been written on is only if maybe you're writing for an organization that pays you and they demand like unique content that in such a case you wouldn't want to write on something that already exists everywhere on the internet right but apart from this nothing should hold you down so yes i'll be sharing four or five tips that i use for getting my article ideas but before i share these things i want to briefly take you to my blog and just you know give you an idea of the inspiration behind some of the articles that i wrote on there so that you can see my thought process and how i thought about this article idea so i'll just be picking like three or four articles on my blog so let's jump to the first one the first one on my blog is rejects versus globin how did i come about this article now i was already writing another article on terminal okay by the way i'll also try not to use very technical terms just so everybody can understand what i'm saying so i was writing an article that had to do with some terminal commands and i also noticed that on the terminal you can create patterns you can you know match multiple files or multiple directories at once and i didn't even know there was any name like globin so i went on the internet and i was just thinking about you know patterns you can create on the terminal you know which i could also use in the article i was writing and that was when i discovered that there was actually a term for it which was globin now i wanted to also explain the concept of globin in that same article but i felt like this would need an article of its own so while writing that article i got a new i learned something new i learned the term globin and i also got the inspiration to create a different article which was globin but in comparison with rejects that was how i got that article let's jump to the second idea on my blog i bought api requests I was working on a project in a company, in my company where I work, and I wanted to, I was working on some API requests, uh, 
logic i wanted to cancel an api request because i felt it was irrelevant and the user would not need it and i felt like this should be possible in javascript right and i went online google stack overflow i made my research and i realized that you can actually cancel api requests now from everything i learned from the knowledge i had already gathered I thought, why not make this an article? There may be people out there who don't even know something as simple as this in API request. And that was how I got the article idea for that one. I'll be quick, let me go to the third one. The third one is GSX expressions having one parent element. Now this is something that usually applies to React. And whenever you get this error in React, GSX must have one root parent element. You already know the solution, I already know the solution. When you just come into react most of the time you already know the solution but one day i was curious why does this problem actually exist like can't react just ignore it and do what i want it to do for me and i went on twitter and i asked the general question like hey tech twitter why does this can somebody explain why this error exists and i got some explanations from some people i also went to stack overflow made some research on my own did some experiments on my own and it finally made sense why that error existed. So my next idea was, why not make this an article? Well, by the way, just to add, I, I like really writing around so many things because I feel like I have my own ways of expressing stuff. So I do this with different ideas I come up with. But that was how I came up with the article. Now to the last one, just to be very quick. What is a canonical link? Now canonical links are links that you use to inform search engines that this is the original content and these are duplicated content. So canonical links are very relevant when you are reposting content across different platforms. I've been using canonical links for a while and then one day I just felt I don't have an article on canonical link. There may be people out there who don't know what canonical links are and are just reposting their content around other platforms. And that was the inspiration for me. I picked up the article like I was going to write on this. So from these four ideas you have seen, you have like seen how I approach writing. Inspiration from different things while working on stuff. I just get the idea and I'm like, I want to write on this. And when I write on this, it could be something very simple, but then people would learn from it. Or it could be one person, but then there's somebody who just didn't know that thing before and now they know it. But yeah, that was just a quick um, tour. I wanted to take you around my blog just so you see my ideas. So now I'm going to highlight four ways that I get my article ideas. The first way I get my article idea, which you can see from the examples I already shared on my blog is when I'm working on a particular project and I believe we all work on different projects in tech, even design projects, we work on different designs and we want to achieve different things at different times. It could be on Figma, how to duplicate an element, how to duplicate a color. It could be on JavaScript, how to do this thing in, in an array, how to do that thing in an array. We all come across different things. So for me, when I'm working on projects and I come across different things, it could be a solution to a bug. It could be just something new I never knew JavaScript could do, like the API request thing I mentioned. When I come across these new things, it for me it's like an article idea already and I put it in my Notion board. Yes, you can check my Notion board. I share the link up, uh, I think the link should be somewhere around here. You can see how I organize my article ideas on my Notion board. So I dump it on my Notion board and I'm like, I'm going to write on this. People can learn from it. I can also learn from it. So that's one way I get my article ideas when I'm working on project personal or company projects. Also, when I'm writing an article, I get inspiration to write another article and this is similar to what I mentioned about globbing. So let's say I'm writing an article on what is web development. In this article of what is web development, I may mention languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and other things. Now because I want this particular article to be focused on web development and I do not want to deviate from that scope and start talking about html or css then i can make this one's articles on their own so you can see that just by writing the web development article it has already bettered three other ideas what is html an article for that what is css an article for that what is javascript an article for that so yeah sometimes you can get article ideas while you're writing another article just because you want this article to have its own isolated you know piece something that is focused on it without talking about so many other things 
the third way you can get article ideas is also when you come across different things like for me i come across things on twitter on social media instagram linkedin whatsapp status conversations between people in whatsapp groups people talk about different things people ask different questions so sometimes i see a question on twitter and i'm like i never thought of that and I, i'll go through the answers on that question i would also make my own research go to stack overflow stack overflow is always there saving us i go there i make my research go to the mdn docs make my research and after i have learned this thing enough to be able to express it in my own way i can write an article on it i have learned something new and i'm also giving back to the community by explaining what i have learned so that is one way to when I come across things, you can write on them. So yeah, when you come across things anywhere, you can pick ideas from these things. Don't just ignore them. They are good potential writing topics. And then the last point here of how I get my writing ideas is also my experience with certain things. This could be my experience with technologies, tools, languages. It could be experiences in my career and many other things. When I first started, when I started writing Angular, I wrote an article on it my first experience with angular and you'd be surprised that even after writing that article there were people or few people who could like relate with some of the things i shared they could learn one thing or two just from my experience with angular so yes you can also write on personal articles based on your experience how i got my first technical writing gig that's an article topic how i got my first full-time job that's an article topic um how i apply to companies how i approach interviews how i structure my cover letters these are all technical writing topics which are built around your personal experiences it doesn't have to be tied to a technology it doesn't have to be tied to language it doesn't have to be tied to a project it doesn't have to be tied to react it could be just your personal experience and you can write an article on it these are the four main points but one more point i want to add which is something i really work with is you can also write articles based on references so let's say you are asked the question multiple times by different people you can write an article that serves as a reference for whenever that may come up for example this video i'm making is, is based on that same um, analogy I don't know if that's the word but i've been asked this question a lot around technical topics and although i already have an article on this yeah by the way you should probably check simplify technical writing a platform where i really share so many things in technical writing the link is currently on the screen so although i already have an article there where i talked about you know getting writing topics i also thought of making these videos and this video and providing more examples so when you're asked something multiple times you can also create reference kind of articles of which people other people who may not even ask you can also learn from so these are the ways i get my um, writing ideas if you look around very well they're usually writing ideas or writing topics around you you just probably need to be more attentive and also you should be conscious of the fact that it doesn't have to be very long and also you should neglect the fact if it has already been written you have your unique way of writing we all have our unique ways of writing but yes those are the tips that currently work for me that's my approach to getting writing ideas uh there are other minor ways too that i get ideas for example i could just be cooking in the kitchen and i get an idea of javascript or i could just wake up and i get an idea or i could just be walking past and i get an idea there are many other minor ways but these are like the major ways that i can really highlight which you can also put um, into use so if you found this video helpful um, kindly like it first of all secondly kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i believe i've given you reasons to subscribe uh, but i would really appreciate your support if you subscribe and also you can share this to whoever you believe would find this helpful go create amazing content go write beautiful articles keep giving back to the community adding value to the community and uh, see you in my next video